dolls this is crystal chanel and i just wanted to come and share with you guys a few things that have been on my heart lately like i get a lot of messages from you know a lot of people about weight loss surgery and sometimes when i get the messages i just look at my phone like are you serious um basically with this particular video it's about keeping it 100% real all the way transparent and just sharing my personal opinions as to ways you know when you're not ready for surgery. So when it comes to surgery, the first thing I tell anyone is that you have to be ready to change your life. Like I don't think some people really understand what I, what I mean when I say that. I get basically a lot of people who've been sending me messages they don't sound very sincere as to why they're getting surgery i'm the first to tell you it's not easy i'm the first to let you know it's not the easy way out um, when it comes to surgery you have to be committed to changing your whole entire life now some of these people are just thinking about surgery but even worse i had some people that contact me whether it's through Snapchat, Instagram, DM, email, um, my contact form on my blog, I get these messages almost every day. Most of the messages are very heartfelt. Most of the messages, um, I can find myself within the lines because it's very similar as to why I went through it too. But I get a good handful of messages, enough to where I wanna come on here and just talk about it. Like I gotta keep it all the way real. Like you gotta know when you're not ready for surgery or if it's, this surgery is not for you. So I never want to be that person and tell someone, no, I don't think you should get the surgery, but you got to be honest with yourself. So I say that because some people will contact me and all they'll talk about is, you know, when can you start drinking again? Or when can you start eating sweets again? Or can you still eat fried food? Or, hey, um, I want to lose some weight and I'm, my doctor's not approving me and I just want to go somewhere else to get it done. How long did it take you to get approved? And it's like, it goes from like answering regular questions, then when I answer them, they come back with, okay, well, I definitely want to know more about the surgery because I'm tired of being fat right now and I just want to be able to lose all my weight and not have to worry about getting it back. And they'll say things like, okay, well, how often do you work out? Or what do you have to do to uh, keep the weight from coming back? And then I'll share with them things like, you gotta work out. You can't just get the surgery and think you're done. That's just the beginning. Like you have to work out, you have to eat right. And then people will say, oh, well, never mind. I thought I can just get surgery and be fine. You're not ready for surgery. Okay, so this video is just to talk about my personal opinions as to how you know you are not ready for surgery. I get messages all the time, almost daily, in my email, on my Instagram messages, on my Snapchats, of people asking about details of the surgery. And of course, I put myself out there, I don't mind, I will answer them. But I always get a feeling for some people that they're doing it because it's popular right now and they're doing it because they think it's easy and they're doing it because they're not fully understanding the commitment that you will be making to yourself. So I will never be the person to tell someone, hey, you shouldn't get this done. But some people will contact me and they'll ask me questions like, you know, how soon before um, you're able to eat fried food again? Or can I still drink? Like, I want to make sure I can still drink and turn up after this. Or they'll say things like, yeah, um, I know I was supposed to be on my liquid diet for two weeks, but I only did it for a week and I, I cheat sometimes. Or they'll ask questions like, did you cheat at all during your pre-op phase or you're after like when I get questions like that it's somewhat infuriating like somewhat a slap in the face it's like this isn't easy I don't do this for show I don't do it to be glamorous like I did it because I had health concerns that needed to be addressed by losing weight and I tried it on my own I failed on my own so I had a tool to help me some people don't realize like this isn't an easy fix uh some of the people that contact me I just tell them hey um how often do you work out right now? Or hey, uh, what do you eat? What's your, what are, you, what are your, your foods like that you eat? And a lot of people will hit me back, oh, I don't work out. Oh, I hate working out, girl. Oh, I don't like, I'm not doing that. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well you shouldn't get surgery because what you think? You think you're gonna get surgery and you're not gonna have to work out? Like, is that what you think? 
Um, or some people will hit me up and say, yeah, so I don't really eat a lot and I don't really want to eat a lot. I just want to get surgery so I can get smaller. It doesn't work like that. Like you're gonna have to want to eat the foods you're supposed to eat and eat as often as you're supposed to and it's gonna be harder. Like you're telling me you're not hungry ever now and you don't eat that well and you, you're aware of that. And I'm telling you back, well, when you get surgery, you're gonna probably have to set alarms on your phone. You have to remember to eat because you're not even gonna have the urge to eat. So if you don't eat, that's not how you lose weight healthy. You're gonna end up hurting yourself, making yourself sick, being dehydrated. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this video needs to be made. I don't even know exactly what I'm trying to say. Um, I didn't even write notes down or anything like that. I just feel like some people that contact me, they read, they look at my videos and they think that it's all glam. It's all wonderful. It's all get surgery and your life has changed. You get to look different. That's not the case. Like when it comes to surgery, you have to be committed that for the rest of your life, you are going to do as as great as you can when it comes to being fit. You're going to have to take your vitamins every single day. And I'm gonna make an updated video about the vitamins that I take. I know I did one like a year ago, uh, but I still take my vitamins every single day. Um, you're gonna to have to commit to that. Some people I talk to, oh, I don't take pills. Or, oh, I'll be fine. My blood, my, my, my iron's always good. Or, oh, I'll be fine. I don't really take vitamins and I don't think I'll need that. What do you mean you don't think you need that? Did you go to school? Are you a doctor? Like I need to understand these things that people say and it's like I don't want to be that person and be like yo you just don't need to do this. But I do say hey you need to talk to your doctor. You need to talk to your doctor about the risks involved if you don't do what you're supposed to do and follow these instructions. I just yesterday had someone send me a message saying hey um I know we're supposed to do this liquid diet for a couple of days, but I plan on cheating because I'm going out of town. What? Ma'am, what? So you mean to tell me you just went through a major operation about two weeks ago and all your doctor said is, hey, I need you to be sure you take care of your new pouch, your new stomach. I need to make sure you're only passing liquids, protein through, nothing too hard, nothing extravagant. And you're telling me that what can you do? You're asking me, what can you do to cheat? Who are you cheating exactly? You're cheating yourself. Like who are you, who are you trying to get over on? You're only fucking up yourself. Like I don't mean to be crude or whatever, but come on, like you can die. Like you cheating on your two week liquid diet, is it worth your death? Like that's what I be having to say to people. I'm like, okay girl, well no, I didn't cheat. My two weeks was hard. My two weeks is hard as hell. But I had a reason why I did it. I understood why I had to do it and I understood why I couldn't cheat. So don't get me wrong. I did put like whipped cream on my sugar-free jello or I did eat some potato chips, chewed them up to get the flavor in my mouth and then I spit them out. But I didn't, I didn't dare risk my health and what I put myself through. Like imagine me dying, killing over because I ruptured my belly, I have internal bleeding and now I'm gone. Imagine me leaving my 13, my 14 year old. Imagine her being mamaless. Imagine leaving my significant other. Imagine my daddy having to bury me. Like that's the kind of shit that I kept in the front of my mind. Imagine having to go back for emergency surgery. Now this is the vein part of Crystal coming out and getting a big cut down my whole stomach because they had an emergency get inside of me to fix whatever I fucked up because I wanted to eat some potato chips. Like that's what I want to tell these people when they send me messages, but I keep it nice. I keep it kosher and sweet. And I'll just say, hey, you might want to double think why you're doing this because any reason should be worth it. When people ask me about loose skin, yes, I have loose skin. If you get this surgery, you're going to have loose skin. Like I understand that's a very big um, concern for a lot of people, but please don't message me asking me, what can you do to get rid of surgery or what can you do to prevent loose skin? Or I really don't know if I should get surgery because I'm gonna have loose skin. I don't know if I want to risk that. What? If you're only getting surgery so that you can look good in a bathing suit, the only reason, don't get vertical sleeve surgery. Go on a diet, get your BMI where it needs to be, and go get you some plastic surgery. How about that? Like, vertical sleeve surgery is not cosmetic surgery. 
That's what people need to realize. Like some people literally will hit me up just asking, oh, well, I hear your insurance will cover vertical sleeve surgery. What do I got to do to get approved? Did you even talk to a doctor yet? Do you even know if you're qualified? Have you even done any tests to make sure that you can withstand and your body will heal after surgery? Like, it's just so frustrating. Like, I understand I put this surgery out there and a lot of people who watch my videos, they get inspired and they get motivated, but it was a good fit for me. How about you? Is it a good fit for you? Like, did you really think about how this is going to affect your life for the rest of your life? Those are real ass questions because I tell you one thing. If you go get the surgery and your stomach is gone, they suck out 70, 80% of your stomach and it's gone. Now you are forced to eat a certain kind of way, live a certain kind of way. Are you going to be happy? If it's not something you predetermined in your mind to be willing to deal with and be willing to sacrifice your life for your new life, your new body, Will you, will you go through with it? Like, that's all I'm asking people to do. I'm not one of them chicks, oh, I got surgery, now she's copying off of me, da, da, da. No, I say, girl, if you need help, go get that help. Go look your best. That's what I want. I want you to feel your best. But please, don't do this surgery thinking it's an easy fix. It's a lot of hard work. And you really got to make sure it's something that you're willing to do. Back to the message I got the other day about going on a trip soon and wanting to cheat. When I had surgery, I was like a hermit. I told this girl in the message, girl, you need to cut off all the negativity around you. You need to cut off all the non-supporters. Whoever you're going on that trip with, if they don't know you're getting surgery or you need to be prepping for surgery or the fact that you had surgery, like you, if you need to get them people out of your life because they don't want to see you do good. You shouldn't be with people who are talking you into going out, talking you into trying something that's just a little bit. Those aren't people you need to have in your corner at this very, very, delicate time of your recovery. Before your, your surgery, your pre-op is so important not to cheat on that diet and afterwards either. Like it's, you're supposed to be creating new habits, not how to figure out how to keep your old ones. That's how you're in this situation to begin with. Part of the reason, your eating habits. So no, don't ask me how you can cheat. Don't ask me how long it was before I could eat something that's not in my dietary plan for my doctor. Be focused on your health, be focused on your recovery, and be focused on your decision if this is right for you or not. So I was a hermit for those two months after my surgery. I did not leave the house. I was in the house. The first week, I didn't barely leave my room. Like I knew that being around certain people, being around certain places, it was gonna be beyond difficult to where probably I would have failed and not have been successful, at least to what I think I'm so far successful, being almost three years out and I've kept most of the weight off. Um, as far as those sacrifices, I would do them all over again. Like literally I put myself in a state of mind and I put myself in a surrounding to where I had support. It was only one person in my bubble. Everybody else, my family, my friends, gone. I had one person in my bubble who helped me stay accountable for what it was I was trying to do. So I say all of that just to say, set yourself up for success. Do your research. Talk to your doctor. Figure out this is what you want to do and then figure out how you can make sure you are successful in doing it. And tell people the truth. If you're going to tell somebody you have the surgery, just be all the way 100 with them. Like I had someone give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm so happy that they did because I didn't walk into it blindsided. That's really it, y'all. I didn't, I didn't want to go too deep with this. I didn't want to be like bitchy or anything like that. I just had something that was on my heart. I had to get off because I do appreciate. I just had a message the other day that really touched my heart. And I was just like, oh my God, like... I know what she's going through. It was almost like a whole two pages of an email. And she really spilled her heart out to me. And I, I, I can resonate with a lot of the messages and emails that I get. But what I cannot get with are those messages from the people I already discussed and those type of folks. So you need to realize that this surgery is for you or not. And if it is, by all means, good luck on your journey. Please take your time and get into learning yourself all over again and keep positivity around you. 
But if it's not, that's okay, baby girl. That's okay, baby boy. Just find something else that can work for you and find a different solution to the problem that you have. That's it, y'all. So I, I guess I'll bring it back up to a better beat. Um, I am wearing my natural hair. I am going to be posting on my other channel a video about what I'm doing to grow my hair longer, thicker. Um, because I've had some hair loss experiences from my surgery and I'm getting myself back back on track so if y'all want to know more about what it is i will be doing to grow my natural hair longer and thicker be sure to subscribe to my other channel my beauty channel and also if you have any questions any comments if you want to like this video if you want to share it please do i appreciate everyone who shares my videos i'm getting a lot of comments and messages about people sharing my videos i think that's awesome i am definitely here to be a voice for anyone who wants to listen about what it is to go through vertical sleeve surgery at least from my point of view but that's it, y'all. I do not want to take up too much of your time. I want to say thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave any comments or questions you have for me below. So I hope everyone enjoys their wonderful weekend. And as always, stay fabulous and stay fierce.